Life is full of twist and turns. Life is full of twist and turn. Twist and turn. Twist and turns. We are the children of God. Twist and turns. Twist and turns. Life is full of twist and turns. Smadu. Hello, children. I'm Teacher Grace, and in our hygiene lesson today, we are going to learn about how to prevent accidents at home. How to prevent accidents at home. Now. Before we start our lesson, I want us to stand and we sing a song. Prevent, prevent, accidents, accidents, preventing accident, preventing accident. accident at home. In our last lesson, we talked about common accident at home. Now today we are going to learn about preventing those accidents at home. Now, how can we prevent accident at home? Yes, we say the common accident at home are what? Like a fall, like a cut and a burns. Now, how can we prevent them? We can prevent this accident by, like a fall, we can prevent a fall by wiping water, you wipe, wiping water on floors to prevent a fall. You wipe water. Wipe. Wiping water on floors. So, we are supposed to wipe water on, floor, on floors because that water can make us to, to slide and fall down. So, you are supposed to prevent a fall, you are supposed to wipe water on the floors. Make sure you wipe the water on the floors for you not to fall down. Are we together? Even you can prevent a fall by arranging... Arranging... Furniture at home. Make sure, if you don't want to fall at home, make sure you arrange furniture at home. Because when you play where furniture, they are disarranged, eh? you can fall down and you can hurt your leg. Another thing you're supposed to do, you're supposed to put what? You put liters or you put the banana peels in the dustbin make sure the waste put waste in the dustbin put the waste in the dust bins make sure after eating the fruits like a banana, make sure you put the waste in the dustbin because when you leave that, that banana peel on the floor, you can slide and you can fall down. Now, that, that, those are the things you're supposed to prevent a fall. Now, we, I want us to we, we prevent what? We prevent a cut. You are not supposed to do not play with a what? Do not play with a knife. Preventing a cut. A cut. And we say you can be cut by a what? A sharp knife or iron sheet. So you're supposed to do not play with, do not play with sharp objects. Do not play with sharp objects. Sharp. Do not play with sharp objects like a knife or iron sheet because when you play with them, you can cut yourself. Are we together? So at home, you're not supposed to play with a sharp object like a knife. Yeah? Always when you're holding a knife, you're supposed to hold a knife by its handle. Always hold a knife by its handle. When you want
want to use a knife, make sure you hold a knife by its handle because when you play with it, you can cut yourself. So when you want to use it, make sure you, you hold it with its handle so that you cannot be, you cannot be what? You cannot be cut by the, by the knife or the sharp object. Are we together? No. We, we have said to prevent a cut, do not play with sharp objects. Always hold a knife with its handle. And when you are preventing a fall, wipe water on the floors. Also, arrange furniture at home for you not to fall down. Put waste in the dustbin for you not to fall down. And we say, do not play near. Do not play near a hot jiko. A hot jiko. All hot water. So to prevent a burn or burns, you do not play near a hot jiko. Also, you are not supposed to play near hot water because you can be burnt. Are we together, children? So when you're at home there, make sure you take care of yourself. Are we together so that you cannot fall down, so that you cannot cut yourself and you can't not be burnt. So take care of yourself at home and I wish you all the best as you are at home. Bye bye for now. See you next time.